You're going on a trip and you're taking your skateboard. How do you pack? Always try to pack light. Don't pack more stuff that you can run with. If you have to get out, you need to do it fast. Go, 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 go. A couple t-shirts. You can never have enough underwear. Underwear is important. I go with two bags, one small backpack inside of one of the bags, and I have a bag that holds skateboards. If you don't have that bag or a skateboard bag, Alberto's got some tips for you. If you go somewhere and you have some coins or bills left, save them in case you go back and you have to take the train and you get the chance to do currency exchange. That's always helpful. Bring a towel, awesome towel that packs really small, dries really fast. And bring a knife, bring your passport. I have this little G-form cutouts for my the inside of my gloves because I had a wrist injury and that's really nice. It's cushy on your palms and if you slap the ground, it's not that bad. Bottom line is planning is key. Efficiency is key. Packing light is key. Be light is key. Yeah, pack light and we'll be back after some commercial break from our sponsors. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, Taz. Mess with this board. That's perfect. Liggett, I heard that seized bearings is the worst thing that could happen to a skateboarder, according to BuzzFeed. Watch him. Watch him. <laughs> Who's messing with my skateboard? Not me. It was all you, Taz. I don't know where you come up with your diabolical plans. But now that we got rid of Camilo, Taz, we're gonna move on back into the universe with our spaceship. But first, we need to gather a couple things to make this possible. Here's a list. Look, urethane bumpers. It needs to happen. But I'm pretty sure the loaded guys are still watching us. So let's put on these special crafted hats that I bought at an artisan metalworking shop. Perfect. Looks so good. Wait, I think I see something I could help. Check this out. Oh, I love ethanol. It's definitely gonna help to infiltrate loaded and get what we need. Stam your. No, I'm not done. Okay, maybe I'm done. Alright, who's gonna go in next? Since I started traveling, a lot of people kept asking me on YouTube how to travel with a lawnmower on an airplane. I'm going to give you some tips, the ones that always work for me. I hope they're useful and awesome for your great adventurous summer. The first option was uh, you get a normal bag. If you don't have like a Bangra, you're good. What you have to do is get your bag. Once you have everything in your bag, what you're gonna do is grab a roll of plastic wrap. Wrap, put your bar next to it. Make sure you take off the tracks and the wheels. Put the bar with the bag and with the plastic wrap, just wrap it. Use the whole thing because you don't want it to separate. One important thing is once you sew up, you have to prove that it's one single piece. Go to the counter, they'll ask you, what is this? Oh, it's just a skateboard. They say, no, you can't have it like this. You just have to say, sorry, I've been traveling all around the world. Are you gonna be the first one who says, I can't do this? Trust me, it works. But you're still gonna get questions. What other options you have? Another great option is if you have a snowboard and you have a snowboard bag, you kinda have a bag to travel with your lawnmower and your clothes. So put your clothes, put your skateboard, close it. When you go to the airport, the girl at the counter is gonna ask you about what do you have in there? Is this sport gear? But we're lucky skateboards are not sport gear. So just say, no, I just have my skateboard, some clothes. I don't have another bag. And they'll be like, okay. If they say no, sorry, I've been traveling all around the world. Are you going to be the first one who says I can't do this? I already said it. Trust me, it works. At the end, the best option if you're going to be traveling, it is to buy a bag that fits a skateboard. You know, in my case, I have the decent hardware bag. It is like a traveler bag. You have the shoulder straps. It's big. If you have a Bangra and it doesn't fit, you can unzip the top and make it a little longer. Um, Compared to the snowboard, it looks more like a travel bag. So you get a lot less questions. You probably get asked, what do you have in there? Don't feel scared of say, skateboard. It's just a toy, it's not sport gear. So you, you shouldn't get charged extra. No, you can't, not shouldn't, you can't. That's your traveler's right. It's a lot easier when you're traveling domestic. Most of the times they have to let you get into the plane with your board as a carry, carry on item. That's how you say it, carry on item. Ethan is backing me up on the back. I mean, that's basically it. It's, it's not that hard. It's not an issue. Don't be afraid of traveling with your lumber. Just do it. Just 
Do it! Force it. If they ask, they tell you no. <clears throat> do it. Force it. Don't be afraid. It's not bad. If you go to the airport, don't lie to the officers and the authorities, but don't be afraid of lying to the flight attendants, the, the girls at the desk, because they can't do anything. And, and what are they gonna do? Not trash you? Oh my god, you're giving me a terrible service as a client. So, you want this, you're gonna make it happen, and no one's gonna tell you no. So, I hope this works. It worked for me. Never, ever had an issue traveling with my lumbar, ever, with any of these methods. So, if someone says no, just say, hey, I've done it before. Hope you guys have a great summer. I wish I could use these tips I just gave you for the summer, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So, you do it for me. Please, have fun. your stuff got your bag ready to go you got your plane ticket maybe a train ticket or just a ride in your mom's car to your buddy's house but somehow you found your way into a skate house or a house where skaters live and they have gracefully accepted or offered an invitation to host you on a couch anyways the most key thing to remember when you find yourself in a skate house is that people live there so I'm gonna give you four there's probably more super cool things to do when you're a guest in a skate home number one think about the amenities that are used up when traveling guests come through somebody's house. Toilet paper, paper towels, sponges, dish soap, trash bags, rodent repellents, HDMI cables. But anyways, these things get used up really quickly in a house that sees a lot of skaters coming through, a lot of travelers coming through. So it's always a nice thing to do to not be asked to re-up on these things. It's a little thing, but it goes a long way. What could be another really cool thing to do when you're a guest in somebody's skate home? Sponsor a dinner. You would be amazed at how much food is produced every single time somebody makes pasta. If you sponsor a meal inside of a skate home, unrequested, maybe even unannounced, you all of a sudden become a skate guest hero. You know how few of those there are? I think I've counted three in my entire life, and I think I currently live with two of them. And then clean the dishes afterwards to be a true legend. That'll go a long way in a skate home. House. Crack house. There's a lot of people that come through this house. There's a lot of people that probably live in that house. So maybe if out of nowhere, you randomly just clean up the living room or you clean a bathroom that sees a lot of traffic and horrors, or you clean a kitchen, boom, you're another hero. Your status as skate travel guests just keeps rising and rising and the unwritten rules of the skate world, you're, you're all of a sudden becoming a desirable skate guest. Keep your stuff together. Because then, those that live there don't all of a sudden come in and just see your stuff lying everywhere and think, wow, this guy, this guy's like a plague. He spreads easier than Nutella. Keep your stuff together. It doesn't matter what you do, just keep it together. Put it in a bag, maybe take it to the stuff store. You know, just keep your stuff together. After living in several skate houses, in fact, living in skate houses pretty much my whole life, these are things that even if a person or a guest does only one of these things, I regard them super up there in my awesomeness list. It's a short list, but there's a couple people up there and they're always welcome to stay. Anyways, that's some advice here from Ethan Koshart at the Loaded Ambassador House where we get tons and tons of traffic. Thankfully, they're all homies and friends and we know them beforehand, but it still helps Camilo. Hey, dude. Cool. Oh, how are you guys doing? What's up with all these dishes? <laughs>